an uncut gem that someone almost chose to take a dump on. That's what I'd describe Devil May Cry as. It's a game that still looks great, has a hell of a lot of style, knows exactly how to cheese the story up for maximum entertainment and so on, but all of this and more gets completely shafted by the baffling game design. A lot of it comes from age, but a lot of it comes from pure insanity. Let's start with the good stuff though. For example, the soundtrack for this game is absolutely perfect for this game. It encapsulates the game's vibes and general attitude as well as you could expect from a soundtrack. Also, the visuals and the atmosphere are done extremely well, making it stand up to this day, at least on the HD edition, which is the version I'm playing. The castle just oozes this unnatural oppressiveness where you always feel like you're in hostile territory, leading you to never truly feel safe. The flashiness and satisfaction from the combat is also something that holds up more than I could have ever imagined, leading me to be excited to see a few filler, weak enemies, knowing that I can flex my muscle a bit. But, even better, my carelessness would still lead me to take damage with the weakest enemies at times just because I overestimated myself. The story, while not good, is serviceable and good enough to make me wonder what else the lore holds just because of its creativity for the numerous enemy types and a clever use of casual horror. Whether it's creepy marionettes or some weird splooge on the ground that you just would rather not touch even when it's Dante that has to do it. So, with all of this, what the hell can be the problem? Well, it's, it's quite simple. Anything to do with gameplay design has a good chance of being questionable with its execution. There is mandatory auto-aim that's the most rigid auto-aim I've ever encountered. That's fine, but when you have enemies that move in and out very quickly, it causes Dante to spin around while he's trying to figure out which enemy to target. It's a fixed camera, which, once again, can be fine, but then they add these flying enemies, and in fact, one of the bosses literally flies so high that you can't see them for most of the time, leading you to blindly whack at them hoping you hit them. Also, the camera is placed terribly a lot of the time, leading enemies to literally go behind the camera. Also, a lot of the visual effects are on the top layer of the image, causing the visuals to just turn into a huge showcase of sprites and, and random visual effects instead of showing what's actually happening on the screen. I hope you get what I'm overall aiming at here. There are limitations, but... See, they don't work in the limitations, instead, they're making a game and then creating a limitation afterwards, not thinking what harm it could cause the game. All of these issues here can be fixed by literally just not doing it. You need to actively go out of your way to place the camera in the middle of the room instead of a corner. You have to purposely add hit-and-run enemies to confuse the auto-aim. You have to purposely add flying enemies to have them fly out of the camera. It's like sabotage or something. They also define their own game logic. Healing orbs, they look the same, but heal different amounts. Yet, red orbs have various sizes to indicate the amount of orbs you'll receive. You have to once again create this issue on purpose. There are visuals to indicate that a door is locked until you kill all the enemies. But then in the Colosseum, they literally add a gate with iron bars and the character says it's closed and can't be opened. But after you kill a random enemy, those bars stop existing without even letting the player know. They had to purposely avoid their own game mechanics to create this confusion. Look, I doubt that these problems come from malice, like obviously. The term sabotage is exaggerated, but once again, I assume this isn't much to realize that the design goes out of its way to create issues that literally wouldn't exist if they didn't purposely create them to begin with. Overall, I did enjoy Devil May Cry, but also I'm sad that these issues made me excited for the game to finally end, since without those problems, this would be a slam dunk. Thanks for watching.